Hello, welcome everyone. Welcome to another Zero Plays video. I know it's been a long time since I've made any videos and put it up. So, you know, life. But that's no excuse. I should put up content anyway if I really want to be. You know what? Doesn't matter. Today, the reason I'm here today making this video is because a lot of my viewers have often asked me if I'm going to buy the Battle Pass, if I'm going to buy the Battle Pass. And a lot of my viewers are of fairly young age, somewhere between the ages of 10 and 13. Well, that's a that's a big range. All right, a lot of them are between 10 and 20. Some of them are between 20 and 25, 25 and 30 even. Uh, but a large majority are in their mid to late teens and uh, even early 20s, right? So they ask me and they ask of themselves, I'm sure, or I should hope, is it worth buying loot boxes or is it worth buying battle passes? Now, these are two different questions, right? Two different questions. I'm going to address battle passes today and the reason i'm doing that is because it seems to be one of the one of the biggest features of any online multiplayer game today this wasn't a thing 10 15 years ago this really was there were loot boxes but there were no battle passes right battle passes i mean there were probably a few but more or less uh, insignificant back then now however they seem to be a hallmark of every game every developer puts up a battle pass and it's a strange concept right to illustrate how strange the concept of a battle pass really is, and I, I think a lot of people don't realize this, maybe some do, I don't know, but here's the thing. When you walk into a store to buy something, I don't know if you walk into a car dealership to buy a car, or if you walk into a pharmacy to buy a, a, a Panadol or, or just some toothpaste, it doesn't matter. You pay some money and you get the item, you get the goods, you know? It's very simple, it's a simple transaction. You pay a certain amount of money for something, uh, in some cases, some are, you know, bargainable things, depending if you're buying a house, you're probably going to bargain for it. But even if you buy something as big as a house, you pay and then you pretty much get it or you have a waiting period for a little bit and then you get it depending on the type of transaction. But battle passes are weird, right? So you pay for something and then you don't get it. You pay for something and then you have to play the game for a set number of hours, right? Which the developer, I guarantee you, knows and has calculated exactly how many hours it would take you. Occasionally, they have double XP rewards and whatnot. But mostly, they, they design it so they have a captive audience that's going to play the game for a certain number of hours. 50, 100, 150, 200 hours, whatever the case may be. Depends on the battle pass, depends on the game. But this is done, it's a calculated thing. But it's a weird thing. Right? So here's the thing. Imagine if I were a car dealership, right? Just just go with me on this. And you've come to me to buy a car. And I say, okay, the car's gonna cost you X amount of money, right? Let's say five thousand, ten thousand dollars. I need you to give me the money up front, and then I need you to go and wash fifty of these cars, then you'll get this. But only in the color that I choose, right? And in the trim that I choose will be available for you. That's it. But you've got to do 50 hours of washing the car first, right? Because you're not going to get it. You're going to use the roads that were made for the car, but you're not going to get the car, right? So it, does that not strike you as weird? You pay up front for the privilege of playing the game without the thing that you purchased. And then you've got to grind the game to get it. It's a weird, you are paying for the privilege of grinding the game? And then maybe getting a skin or two that you like. Now, it may be argued that you don't have to get the battle pass. It's optional, which is true. These are all free to play, well, mostly free to play games. So you don't have to get the battle pass. That's a fair point. So don't get the battle pass then. Just play it free. But we kind of like the skins and stuff, right? Okay, all right. Here's my objection. If, you, if there was a skin available on a store for a certain amount of money, that's a more direct and more traditional form of transaction. You may or may not like the skin, you may or may not buy it. Do you really like it? You're splurging on it. Should you buy it? Like all good answers, it's a little more nuanced than that. It, 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 it comes down to how much you play the game, right? Now, if you play the game a lot anyway, if you're spending, if you know in a month you're going to be spending three hours a day on the game anyway, and you want the battle pass, that's fine. Get the battle pass. Because you're going to be doing that grinding anyway. You're not going to grind that game just to get that three skins out of the hundred available that you want. And you're not going to make your life miserable by playing a game for 200 hours that you... Maybe you like the game, but you don't like it that much. Right? But if you like the game anyway, 
then that's not such a bad deal. It's still weird that you have to grind to get it even after you pay for it. That is the weird part. And it's done so that you play the game. They want an active player base, right? So they're enticing an active player base. But instead of giving away things, they're taking more money from it for you. A lot of skins are just recolors. Don't fall for that shit. Do not pay extra for that kind of rubbish. That's just lazy, right? That's lazy. But they do get away with it. So, you know, whatever goes, goes. The justification is that the choice is in your hand. Now, the two kinds of people who can buy battle passes and it won't be a big deal. One, like I said, if you're grinding it anyway, if you love the game and you know you're going to play it, you're dedicated to it and this is your favorite pastime, whatever, right? That's fine. Then it doesn't matter. Then you're good. The other one is if you've got a ton of money and it doesn't matter. Like if 10 bucks or 20 bucks, whatever the battle pass may be, is not going to affect your life in any way, then it doesn't matter. It's not necessarily true for a 13-year-old who's saving up allowance or 15-year-old who's saving up allowance, but it might be true for a 30-year-old. However, and my viewers know this, right? I don't buy battle passes willy-nilly. I will not buy a battle pass for every game. And that's because, call me old-fashioned, but I, I think it's important to show some financial discipline and some kind of... There has to be a justification. There has to be a logic as to why I spend the money because the easiest thing is to let money go. It's, it takes a lot of time to earn it, right? But the easiest thing is to let money go. It's easy. Everybody wants your money. They're willing to give you things for it, but they want your money at the end of the day, right? If you go to a businessman's house and see how much he spends versus how much he earns, you'll understand what I'm talking about. They are very, very, very careful with their money. And there's a reason for that. That is how you make money. I mean, not by being stingy, but by being very careful. There has to be justified decisions. So for me, I play a lot of Apex Legends, right? I will buy one battle pass a year to give back to the developers because I'm getting so many hours of enjoyment out of it. And I like some of the skins and I know I'm going to play it anyway. And it's what, $10, $15 or something like that. I forget the exact uh, number. A, it doesn't make a difference to my bank balance. I'm 35, I have a day job, I earn reasonable, uh, reasonably well and, and I do okay, right? Uh, I'm not super rich, I'm not a businessman, none of that stuff. I have a salary job, but I know I can spend 15 bucks, no issues. Not a problem, right? When I was 15, 15 bucks was huge. So I, there's no way I would spend it on a skin that makes no difference to anybody's life. No difference, not a little bit. Is it swag? Yes. Is it a bit of, uh, I mean, can you show off a little bit? Sure, of course you can, but there's no real value, right? If you spend battle passes, if you spend money for battle passes every season, then maybe you have a problem because, again, if the money, money doesn't matter to you, it doesn't matter to you. But if the money does matter to you, um, let's say there are three battle passes in a year, three seasons in a year for a game, let's say, maybe more in some games, maybe less in some games, I don't know. And let's say each of them cost 15 to $20, $15 maybe. Um, you spend 45 to $60 on something. That 45 to $60 could easily have gone to upgrade your rig in some way right? That's the extra amount of money maybe to uh, afford a new processor, a new graphics card in case of a PC. Or maybe you're this close to buying a new mobile phone that's absolutely awesome. It has a high refresh rate, amazing processor, blah, blah, blah. This is that extra $60 that you needed, right? It's better to have the phone to play the game better, to enjoy other games as well, and to do more things than to have a battle pass or pretty much anything rather than a battle pass. So be very careful and be very logical. If Again, I'll reiterate, if you're spending time on the game anyway, it's not a problem. If, you're, if the money doesn't matter, of course it's not a problem. But in every other situation, be very careful. Now, even if you're grinding the game all day every day, doesn't mean it's a justified purchase. You see if there are enough skins in there that are worth it for you. Because not all... Not all spending is about logic alone. Some of it is for fun. Some of it is to just make you happy. And that's fine, right? Some. You don't, 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 please don't get your enjoyment and happiness from money alone. That's just, that's just terrible. And we'll talk about that another day. But make sure there's a logical reason for it. Once in a while splurge on yourself. That's fine. But use your discretion. Battle passes are strange. Really, really, really strange. Because you're not getting what you pay for, you're getting the privilege to earn what you pay for, which is just weird. It's a little bit like some cults out there, but I won't get into that. Um, just to give you an example, there's another uh, COD Mobile, for example, is a game that has uh, that has taken the mobile industry, mobile gaming industry, by storm. 
It's very popular. A lot of people play it. A lot of my viewers are hardcore card, card mobile, Call of Duty mobile, for those of you who don't know, card mobile players. Um, and they make the argument that once you buy a battle pass, it gives you enough points with which you can purchase the next battle pass. Now, this is not the case for all games. This may be a case for Call of Duty Mobile specifically. In which case, I can see why you might be okay buying one. But be aware that you are committed to grinding the game if you want every battle pass. You have to be grinding the game. So, in this situation, suddenly it, bets, oh, it becomes okay to buy one battle pass provided you can get a whole bunch of others for free. Right? If you're going to be playing the game anyway. But... That doesn't mean you should spend on it. It means that it's a little more justified because you're getting more from it. I have other issues with that game, but we'll get into that later. But yeah, just to sum it all up, um, I'm not telling, I'm not, I'm not saying you shouldn't buy battle passes. I'm saying it, they're a really weird form of transaction. Uh, you pay for the privilege to get something and to earn. You pay for the privilege to start earning something. It's really strange. So be very careful. Spend only if it is financially prudent for you or is logical for you once in a while splurging is okay but for god's sakes don't 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 worry so much about the battle pass encourage the developers to make the game better enjoy the game because that's what it's all about it's not about the skins it's not about the battle pass it's about the game and once in a while throw some money into the game to reward the developers that's that's all i have to say the battle pass uh come check me out live on trovo twitch maybe more videos on youtube but till then, stay happy, stay peaceful, but above all else, stay colorful. Peace.